Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, I have got such a fun Halloween project for you. Ah, I can't wait to show you. All right, so first start, I started with a ping pong ball and I just took my X-Acto knife and I cut it in half. Now I'm making three different little cauldrons. So cute. So I only needed, you know, a couple of these. Then I take my crocodile and I'm putting a bunch of holes in one of the halves and then I painted each one. One of them purple. I painted another one green and I painted another one orange. Super cute. And I think I used multi-surface paint. All right. So next, now friends, be really careful. I, You're going to see this video is really not the, my best work, but I burned the you know what out of my hand. Oh, it was so bad. So anyways, I have all these glass beads from the floral section at Dollar Tree, and I am gluing them onto our half of a ping pong ball, okay? Now listen, when you do this, don't go all the way down to the edge. You wanna leave a little bit, like a half an inch of your ping pong ball showing, um, just so that way it'll fit into your cauldron, okay? All right, so then just go all the way around it. Um, you don't have to paint the ping pong balls, but that's just something I chose to do. Um, and so this is me just going all around gluing these, okay? All right. Um, and I also had some pink glass beads that I put on, the orange one. My daughter suggested this. It has such, it makes the orange look like more peachy, I don't even know. It's just a wicked cool color and I love it. Um, so I'm gonna do the same process as I did with the purple one and I just keep gluing all these glass beads. I also did one for the green one and I actually had green beads too. So I did a ping pong ball with the holes in it um, that I painted green that I also added the pink beads. Ha! Huh. Um, and again, with all of them, you wanna leave that um, little bit at the end um, at the bottom just to make sure and I also oh I also wanted to mention I would also um, glue some of the beads like in the little gaps that you might have so it kind of overlaps super cool super cool now is this going to be like super duper um what's the word strong like hold together forever you can drop it on the floor no if you want to do that, then I'd use some E6000 or some Gem Tech or something like this. When you use the hot glue gun, um, it's not the most strong um, adherence, if that makes any sense. But anyways, look at how cool that color is with the orange and the pink on top. Oh, I love it. Anyways, okay, so just keep doing that. And again, leave a little bit of a gap in the reason at the bottom and the reason why is so that it fits into your little cauldron after. Perfect. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now I'm gonna show you here. I also glued some of the beads on the outside of the cauldron, put a little candle inside, put your little thing on top. Are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. I don't even do Halloween and I wanna do this. Friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to do greatness.